Hi everyone, this is Laura for Cloud9 Crafts and in today's video I'll be creating a Lawn Fawn Slimline Slider card featuring the Card Critters Christmas add-on stamp and die cut set. I started out by die cutting my base for my card. I used this stitched rectangle from the large Slimline with sliders die cut set from Lawn Fawn. Then I die cut the little slot to create the slider and then I also used a border from the slimline stitched hillside border die cut set. I ran all of that through my Gemini Junior die cutting machine. Next I am stamping my images using the My Sweet Petunia Misty since it's really easy to stamp all of these images at once. I am combining different stamp sets today. I used the Car Critter steam set from Lawn Fawn along with the Christmas add-on. I also used the Yeti or Not steam set to steam the Christmas trees. And then for the little lantern, I used the Peace on Earth steam set. I steamed all of these on Transo type coloring paper using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And now I am using Copic sketch markers to color all of these images. As always, I start out with my lightest color, then I use the darkest shade, then the mid-tone color, and then finally I just blend all of that together using the lightest shade again. I decided to go with quite a traditional color scheme for today's card, so I'm using red and green, and then I'm also using quite a lot of blue for my background. And I just love these little bears sitting inside the car. The Car Critter Steam set from Lawn Fawn is such a great set. It just offers so many possibilities and there are endless combinations. Now that I color these images, it's time to add color to my slider piece. I am using Weathered Wood Distress Oxide ink along with my Tailored Expressions ink blending brush. Then for my blue background, I decided to make an ombre using speckled egg, evergreen bow, and broken china. This is a combination I saw on Instagram. It's actually one of Christina Werner's combinations. She has many of them. And at first I was a little bit hesitant because I thought that the colors wouldn't really blend that easily. But I was wrong because this is actually a really great combo and these colors work really really well together. You just have to always switch back and forth between your colors in order to get a nice gradient. And of course using good blending brushes um, just makes it so much easier as well. Now that I am done ink blending, I am going in with some white watercolor paint and also some metallic paint just to add some splatters here and there to make it look like snow is falling. After making sure that my background was completely dry, I am going in with my powder tool to prep my cardstock for ink blending. I am using a sentiment stamp from the Winter Wavy Sing stamp set from Lawn Farm. And I'm stamping the sentiment that says Happy Holidays using Versamark ink and I'm sprinkling on opaque bright white embossing powder from WOW. After sprinkling it on, it's time to heat set that until the powder is melted completely and then it's time to assemble the slider element. So I have this little disc over here from my favorite things which makes it really easy to make your images slide back and forth. I used some double-sided tape to adhere that to my little coin over here and then I'm just positioning my penny with the slot and then I can adhere my car on top of the penny. So it's that easy. I am building a track for my penny using foam adhesive. This is double-sided foam adhesive and I doubled up the layer so it's nice and thick. And just to make sure that my penny has enough, enough, I mean, space to slide around. So you just have to move your penny around to make sure that your tape doesn't touch it because otherwise your slider just won't work. I am also going in with some more of my powder from my powder tool just to remove some stickiness 
from that double-sided foam tape and then um, your penny will slide really easily and you will have a really cool uh, slider element on your cart. So I'm positioning that onto my ink blended background. I'm also adhering my colored images using foam adhesive and then some of the uh, long thong glue tube. I die cut another slimline using the um, Shine Bright, I think it's called. Oh no, sorry, it's called the Let It Shine Collection Pack from Long Fong. I used the 12 by 12 uh, paper or pattern paper to die cut this slimline, and then I'm going to adhere that to a note card. I'm also adhering my finished ink blended slider piece using some more of that double sided foam tape. And then, of course, I am going to finish off this card with some Shimmer and Shine. I'm going in with the Crafter's Companion Sparkle Pen and a coat of Glossy Accents. And then I am also adding some Silver Crystals Glitter Drops from Tonic Studios. And these just add a really nice, sparkly and Christmassy touch to your card. So there you go, that's it for now. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell below so you will never miss any uploads. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.